If we do this together, by July the 4th, there's a good chance you, your families and friends, will be able to get together in your backyard or in your neighborhood and have a cookout and a barbecue and celebrate Independence Day. That will make this Independence Day something truly special, where we not only mark our independence as a nation, but we begin to mark our independence from this virus. I'll tell you the truth. A July 4th with your loved ones is the goal. But a goal, a lot can happen. Conditions can change. The scientists have made clear that things may get worse again as new variants of the virus spread. If you get your first shot next week in mid-April, you won't be fully protected until, until May, late May. If you get your first shot in mid-May, you aren't fully protected until late June. Better times are ahead. And as I said before, we can have a safe, happy Fourth of July with your family and your friends and small groups in your backyard. The real question is, how much death, disease, and misery are we going to see between now and then? And for now, after a year of hard work and so much sacrifice, the rule is very simple. Get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do. It's vaccinated or masked. And we need all of you to bring it home. Americans ages 12 and up get vaccinated. And on July 4th, let's celebrate our independence as a nation and our independence from this virus.